What's up, y'all? This your girl, Miss Danny Baby. I'm back again, back again. Breaking news on the Jasmine Elan situation, which is the girl who has allegedly been raped in an Atlanta nightclub, Club Opera. And breaking news is that she's retained an attorney that has agreed to represent her. Um, and his name is Chris Stewart. Um, he has a law firm. And supposedly this, this man knows his stuff. Um, he represents a lot of sexual assault cases and their clients. Um, and he's reportedly even won like a billion dollar settlement in a prior case. And from what I gather, he has enough reason to believe that something really crazy went on here in this situation. So that's why he's agreed to investigate and represent the client. Um, so, and after reading the article, you guys, it just made me think even harder about what could have transpired, you know, because I've seen different points of view on the case. Me personally, I have no reason to believe that this girl is not telling the truth, but I must admit some things are a little shaky that can be used like against her. So I'm glad to see that someone is representing her and helping her tell her story. This article was at the AtlantaBlackStar.com, but you can also see it on other media outlets where they're reporting this now. This story just broke, um, this update just broke like a few hours ago today. Um, it says an exclusive attorney revealed shocking new detail about a woman who was allegedly sexually assaulted inside Atlanta nightclub. Um, the attorney for the woman at the center of the alleged sexual assault captured on Facebook Live from inside a popular Atlanta nightclub is offering shocking new details regarding the incident. Attorney Chris Stewart's office is conducting an independent investigation into the alleged assault against accused, accuser Jasmine Island inside the club Saturday night. Um, it says the firm announced in a press release that disturbing video from the incident, which has since been pulled from social media, appeared to show a black male sexually assault Elon on the dance floor as she repeatedly cried out, stop, please, somebody help me. Here's, I guess, the front of the club opera. You know, you guys, um, I'm, I, I've, I liked the club scene to a certain degree when I was younger. I still don't mind busting a groove maybe once a year or something out somewhere. But I guess since I'm older now, you know, my more cup of tea is to go to calmer venues. If, you know, if I want to have a drink, I don't mind going to a classy bar um, that has a band playing or whatever. The younger kids, uh, it just rattles my nerves. So I don't really get into that, but I'm not one to bash you know, younger people that actually still go to clubs because most, probably 80, 90% of us have done that at one time or another. So, you know, the judgmental points of view, <laughs> hypocrisy much, um, but I'll, I'll get into that in separate videos. Um, it says, while the Atlanta Police Department conducts his own review of the incident, Stewart and his police, and the office, and his office, pardon me, are now working to get to the bottom of the second assault they believe that may have occurred. The attorney told Atlanta Black Star there's another video of Island being carried into a separate room inside the venue. In it, Stewart said his client is her moaning and begging her assault assailant to stop. They were somewhere else. They're not in that big room in the club, he said, noting how the booming music gradually faded away. We want to know why in the hell she was allowed to be taken into some room in that nightclub. Word. Oh, this makes me even scared. Oh, thank God I don't crave to go to these places like I did when I was, when I was younger. Because real talk, shit, it's, it, it sounds scary for a chick to be up in a library these days. I'm telling you, there's a frequency on this planet nowadays where it's very, it's a predatory spirit and energy that's just plaguing the freaking planet. But anyway, continuing on, as reported by Station Channel 2 Action News, Island was at the club that night celebrating her birthday when the assault unfolded. She told police she believed someone slipped drugs into her drink, then sexually assaulted her as she danced. 
Stewart said her client only remembers bits and pieces from that night and recalls waking up outside the club where an employee offered her water. Island had only had two and a half drinks, according to her attorney. Rumors also surfaced that Island had participated in a dance contest at some point that night, though it's unclear whether that happened before or after she was drugged. He goes to say, I've handled a number of these sexual assault cases and delirium and aggressiveness and loss of self-control are definite telltale signs of being date raped, Stewart explained. Then you suddenly crash and you go in and out of consciousness. So it wouldn't surprise me if she was dancing because you know, you've been drugged. You're out of your mind. Boom, 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 motherfucking boom. Okay. This tells you right there for all the naysayers, like why she up there twerking her ass if something really bad happened to her. Um, there's no way that somebody could go twerk and they had something going on. This attorney is telling you, and he has experience in this area of law where he's seen victims act outside of character or um, downplay their emotions because they don't feel the emotions yet. Everything hasn't hit them um, right, it hasn't hit them right away because they're under the influence. Now she only remembers having two and a half dr drinks. The way that girl was hanging and, bear and, and could not even stand up, two and a half drinks, I don't care what you have, two and a half drinks is not going to do that to a person. There had to be, either she lying about the two and a half drinks or she's had some other type of drugs. I don't have any reason to believe that she had more than two and a half drinks. That definitely looked like someone that was, that was um, actually drugged. And he tells you right here, then you suddenly crash and you go in and out of consciousness. So it would not surprise me if she was dancing because you know you've been drugged. You're out of your mind. So if what Miss Jasmine Island has said, um, what she's alleged to have happened to her is true, um, show some empathy for the girl. Now, if she's lying... It'll come out in the wash. If she's lying, it will come out in the wash. But can we please give a possible rape victim the benefit of the doubt until proven otherwise? God damn, a girl can get raped in front of you guys, cameras rolling, music going, and you, I mean, like, I just can't with you people. I just can't. And I'm not talking about my subbies, but just the co collective consciousness of this so-called community. There, there is no empathy for the black woman. I'm telling you, I, oh my goodness, it's crazy. But anyway, it says it was ultimately a 911 call from a Facebook user that triggered APD's response to the club that night. A police report from the incident stated that the caller told authorities she saw a Facebook video of a black woman being groped on her chest and possibly raped from behind as she loudly protested. ABS has submitted an open records request for that audio. Officers arrived at the club on Crescent Avenue to investigate but could not lo locate the victim. Police reviewed the art video again and realized it was recorded an hour before they had arrived. It is unclear if the incident was captured on surveillance footage inside the club. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the club tries to, even if they had the surveillance, if their surveillance video captures something really bad that could put them in a liable situation, I wouldn't be surprised if someone tried to um, erase the tapes. But I hope they do have surveillance so we can get all angles. And a club of that size, from what I'm hearing, it's, it's like extremely huge. They should always be expected to have surveillance going on every corner of that club. You shouldn't have an establishment where you're serving alcohol and there's not su um, sufficient camera angles and um, camera footage going and being taped while there's venues and events going on. That protects not only yourself if you're doing the right thing, but also it gives some sense of security to your clientele that comes there. Okay, it says, in the report, the responding officer noted that the woman in the video never contacted police about the incident. Authorities aren't naming the man involved, but say they have been in contact with him. Okay, 
says in a statement, Opera said it's cooperating with police investigation, which is good. At this time, we have met with the Atlanta Police Department and have provided them with everything they have requested. Management for the nightclub wrote in a Sunday Facebook post. We'll continue to aid and support their investigation in any way we can. Says Stewart's office is also looking to bring their client to justice their client justice and said it hopes to gain more details from the club and club employees about that night as their investigation progresses. We're going to keep gathering information, he told ABS. Former employees have tried to contact us and say they know stuff. We just want more witness witnesses to come forward. And that's basically what needs to happen, people. We need more witnesses. We need all their surveillance video. We need more people willing, willing to talk. I hope that, um, that she's had within the, the first 48 hours, I heard you have to get, you can get tested for um, date rape drugs. I hope that they tested her for that. And that she's had, um, that she's had a, um, like a rape kit done on her. But this is really a sad situation all the way around. Even if, she's vindicated as far as like telling her truth and we find out yes this guy is guilty throw him um throw him away um and, and and throw away the key it's still sad because this is some a part of her life that can't be erased and then on the flip side if she was lying this is a bad mark and i'll get to that in another video it's going to be harder um or it's gonna be scarier for chicks to come out, especially black chicks to come out if they are sexually assaulted um, under the belief that nobody's gonna believe them because, ooh, look at that one girl who got um, who's cried rape and um, she got busted for lying. But me personally, I just don't feel that she is lying. But either way, the investigation will tell us the truth as it is. But I just wanted you guys to know that, you know, this is the latest and I'm going to stay on top of this case as much as possible. Hope you guys are enjoying your week or the end of your week. Have a great day.